published 2120 est, the 21st of November 2017 updated 1023 est, the 22nd of November 2017 while Apple HASNT hid its self-driving car ambitions, until now, little has been known about the mysterious project. But now, computer scientists at the firm have posted a paper online, shedding light on how the self-driving cars could work. The paper reveals that Apple's self-driving cars can better spot cyclists and pedestrians using laser sensors, in a new software approach called VoxelNet. Scroll down for video while Apple HASNT hid its self-driving car ambitions, until now, little has been known about the mysterious project. But now, computer scientists at the firm have posted a paper online, shedding light on how the self-driving cars could work. Self-driving cars often use a combination of normal two-dimensional cameras and depth-sensing LiDAR units to recognize the world around them, while the units supply depth information. Their low resolution makes it hard to detect small, far-away objects without help from a normal camera linked to it in real time. But with new software, the Apple researchers said they were able to get highly encouraging results in spotting pedestrians and cyclists with just LiDAR data. They also wrote they were able to beat other approaches for detecting three-dimensional objects that use only LiDAR. The experiments were computer simulations and did not involve road tests. The paper by Yin Zhou and Wansel Tuzil, submitted on November 17 to independent online journal Arxiv, is significant because Apple's famed corporate secrecy around future products has been seen as a drawback among artificial intelligence and machine learning researchers. The scientists proposed a new software approach called VoxelNet for helping computers detect three-dimensional objects. Apple declined to comment. Academics are used to freely sharing their work with peers at other organizations. Yielding to that dynamic, Apple in July established the Apple Machine Learning Journal for its researchers. Their work rarely appears outside the journal, which so far has not published any research on self-driving cars. Self-driving cars often use a combination of normal two-dimensional cameras and depth-sensing LiDAR laser units to recognize the world around them. Self-driving cars often use a combination of normal two-dimensional cameras and depth-sensing LiDAR units to recognize the world around them, but with new software. The Apple researchers said they were able to get highly encouraging results in spotting pedestrians and cyclists with just LiDAR data. LiDAR is a technology that measures distance by shooting a laser at a target and analyzing the light that is reflected back. The technology was developed in the early 1960s and uses laser imaging with radar technology that can calculate distances. The term LIDAR is a portmanteau of light and radar. LIDAR uses UV, visible, or near-infrared light to image objects and can be used with a wide range of targets, including non-metallic objects, rocks, rain, chemical compounds, aerosols, clouds and even single molecules. A narrow laser beam can be used to map physical features with very high resolution. While the units supply depth information, the low resolution makes it hard to detect small, far-away objects without help from a normal camera linked to it in real time. But with new software, the Apple researchers said they were able to get highly encouraging results in spotting pedestrians and cyclists with just LiDAR data. They also wrote they were able to beat other approaches for detecting three-dimensional objects that use only LiDAR. The experiments were computer simulations and did not involve road tests. Though Chief Executive Tim Cook has called self-driving cars the mother of all AI projects, Apple has given few hints about the nature of its self-driving car ambitious. Last December, Apple told federal regulators it was excited about the technology and asked regulators not to restrict testing of the technology. In April, Apple filed a self-driving car testing plan with California regulators. Though Chief Executive Tim Cook has called self-driving cars the mother of all AI projects, Apple has given few hints about the nature of its self-driving car ambitious Chief Executive Tim Cook has suggested that Apple wants to move beyond integration of Apple smartphones into vehicle infotainment systems. Apple officially secured a permit to test autonomous vehicles in California on April 14. Rumors began sweeping the web last year that Apple was toying with the idea of developing its own self-driving car. But Apple executives have been coy about their interest in the vehicles. Chief Executive Tim Cook has suggested that Apple wants to move beyond integration of Apple smartphones into vehicle infotainment systems, but the latest news to emerge from the firm suggested his scaling back its ambitions.